Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Now I've previously shown you how to fix the legs on vintage Masters of the Universe figures using hooks and O-rings, but today we're going to try a new technique that has uh, been sort of turning up on eBay over the last few months, and that is to actually replace the little rubbers that go between the two legs with modern versions of them. Now you can pick these up off eBay. Uh, they are just called uh, Masters of the Universe rubber leg connectors, and there's a few people selling them. So I picked up some of these and we're going to have a go at replacing the uh, leg band on this poor Skeletor who's uh, been a little bit uh, battered by He-Man there. So let's have a go and we'll see how well these new rubbers work. The first thing we need to do is actually to remove this old uh, rubber leg connector and the easiest way to do that is actually to warm up the plastic uh, by placing it into some freshly boiled water. So I'm just going to put the kettle on and we're going to dunk these two legs into the uh, freshly boiled water. The plastic will soften and then we can just use a screwdriver to pull this old piece of rubber out. So let's get that going. So I'm putting some uh, just boiled water in a cup here and I'm going to drop in both of these legs and we'll just leave that for about uh, 30 seconds just for the plastic to warm up. So it's now been about 30 seconds I can pull this uh, first leg out be careful not to burn yourself I've also got a cloth here so we can just dry that down and you can see the leg plastic has gone fairly floppy so I've got an, a small flathead screwdriver here and I can carefully insert that in to the leg and we can ease out the old piece of rubber like so. And there you go, that's the old bit of rubber that used to hold the two legs together. So we'll do the same on the other leg and then we're good to go at the next stage. The next stage is actually to put the piece of rubber through the uh, groin area of uh, skeletal or whatever figure you're doing. So we have the uh, new piece of rubber and I've got a little bit of thread here and this is what we're going to use to poke everything through. So I'm going to get this bit of thread looped so we've got to both ends together and then we can push that through the little hole at the back of uh, his pelvis as you can see there and I'm going to get a pair of tweezers so that we can just grab those two ends. So he's now got the loop through and then we can hook the new piece of rubber into the loop and start to pull this through. Now this is a little bit of a tricky part because the piece of rubber is much larger than the hole. I'm not sure you can actually see that in there. And so it takes quite a lot of pulling and if you get a screwdriver you can also push from the other side but it's, with a bit of practice you can actually push these pieces through. But as I say it's a fiddly process and this is probably the, the most awkward part of this whole uh, sort of restoration of uh, the legs. There we go. Now you can see we have the new leg rubber into the groin section of skeletal. So we can now go about reattaching his legs. Now for reattaching the legs I'm actually going to be using a pair of these uh, sort of surgical locking uh, grippers. I don't actually know the name of them. I should not have uh, looked it up but I don't. And these are very useful just because you can grip things and use them to sort of push stuff around. And what we're going to do, I've left the legs in the hot water while I was uh, putting a bit of rubber through. So we're going to just take out one of the legs. Make sure you know which leg this is. This is the uh, right leg. We're now going to grab the uh, little rubber bung part. And you sort of need to make sure it's the right way round. So make sure the leg sort of looks like it's in about the right position. And then you can just push this into the top of the leg, like so. Sometimes you need to do a little bit more than that. So make sure the little rubber piece is actually pushed firmly into the hole. But more often than not, it seems to just want to sort of go in on its own. So there's one leg in place. We can now do the same on the other side. So I'm just gonna grab the little rubber piece and pull it through. Make sure I've sort of got it lined up how I, 
how it needs to be. Again, I'm going to grip it with these little clasping pieces, like so. We'll get the other leg out of the water, which is very hot, so you don't want to burn yourself. There's the other leg, and I can now just push this into the top of the leg. Easier said than done, but it is possible. Just need to make sure that every part of that uh, new piece of rubber has sort of pushed in place. And there we have it, the legs are attached. So as you can see, Skeletor is now able to stand again. And I think most people wouldn't be able to even tell that that had been replaced because these new bands obviously match the originals very closely. So uh, it certainly is a good fix. It's a little bit more fiddly, I'd say, than doing the hook and eye fix, but uh, certainly worth it if you can be bothered to sort of spend the time and do have a little practice first. I've actually done one of these before just to uh, learn the process. And it was a bit fiddly the first time, but second time around, it's certainly a lot easier. So uh, you can pick these up off eBay as I say, just search for uh, Masters of the Universe leg rubbers or leg, leg connectors uh, and they will come up. I want to say thank you to uh, Danny Hurtabies as well, who very kindly sent these to me uh, to have a go with. So thanks to him. I hope this has been of interest to you and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram.